with okraw.com to do another exciting episode for you and what we're gonna do today is give you guys actually an episode on actually how I travel plus my raw fruit and vegetable and plant haul uh, this trip to Southern California so here's the deal uh, me and my girl we came down to LA for the weekend long weekend uh, get in on Friday it's Monday now we're headed back and uh, I want to share with you guys actually what I brought with me to travel uh, all the different paraphernalia I I travel with <laughs> in the car and then also um, basically the food that we sourced and secured at different farmers markets and at the produce terminal this morning and uh, yeah all my different plant starts because what I'm doing right now is here's the situation like I woke up today at like 5 30 a.m. went to the wholesale produce terminal you know I went around the main terminal the Mexican side terminal and then actually uh, I drove over uh, to CPG certified uh, plant uh, growers in Norwalk picked up a whole bunch of wholesale or uh, plants to plant in my garden came back to the hotel it was about 10:30, so it took like five hours to do all that this morning my girlfriend was just uh, you know uh, in bed sleeping when I was doing all this crazy stuff and uh, now I'm back and uh, just rolled the stuff out uh, from the room to the car and I got to actually just unpack and unload the whole car so I could put all this stuff in on the cart and all the stuff in the car make it fit plus uh, us fit <laughs> so that's always fun I love like packing stuff in tight you know in, in the car of course and uh, and I make everything fit you know even though we got a small uh, Hyundai Elantra right now so anyways uh, without further ado I'll, actually I want to show you guys actually what I got in the cart and then uh, and then slowly we're gonna go ahead and unpack the car show you guys the amazing deals I got this time at the Los Angeles wholesale produce terminal all right so now I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I uh, travel with uh, first of course, I have a luggage. This is my carry-on luggage. And uh, inside this carry-on luggage, uh, instead of like all my clothes like a normal person would have, I'm not a normal person. <laughs> we could unzip this. I don't know if you guys could see that on camera. But uh, inside we got an Omega vertical juicer. I got nice large bowls for salads, a cleaning brush, uh, containers for the juicer, as well as a Nutribullet with their large 30 two ounce container so this is the travel blender the travel juicer and we got salads inside here I have a uh, cutting boards I got cutting boards and I got ceramic knives also like a smaller like cutting board for fruit if I don't want to get out the big one and we got uh, utensils in here so yeah that's this uh, one bag now if I'm traveling by air normally I'm not gonna bring all this stuff you know depending I might bring maybe a juicer maybe a blender but it depends where I'm going. Most places I go these days, I have friends that have juices or blenders. But that being said, you know, don't feel that you need these tools to eat a plant-based raw diet and eat lots of fruits and vegetables. These are unnecessary. And actually the last two trips we come to SoCal, we actually haven't opened this bag. I think we opened this bag to use the brush and maybe like the, uh, the cutting boards and the knife, but we didn't even juice or blend this time because we didn't need to because we got like really good fruit. So uh, let's see, next let's go ahead and take a look at some other stuff. Natural Grocers bag, one of my favorite uh, health food stores. But inside here, what you see is we got a lot of, uh, you guys can't see that, empty glass bottles. <laughs> so uh, this jar actually had my dinner, it was a blended salad that I, uh, that I drank on the drive down. And then of course we have a, uh, empty juice bottles from different places like uh, the Raffle Organic Co-op, got that in Texas. Uh, my girlfriend got a bottle of juice at Irwan. This shit's expensive, man, nine bucks. Of course, uh, juiced in Las Vegas, pressed for juice. Good juice bar in Vegas. As well as we got some empty kombucha bottles. And uh, so while we got all these empty bottles, instead of just throwing them away, number one, we wouldn't throw them away, we would recycle them. And number two, the next stop after we after I pack up the cars, we're going to Dr. Jolly Sugarcane Juice. And we're gonna load up all these uh, jars and uh, bottles with sh fresh sugarcane juice to take back. All right, next, we got a, a cooler bag that generally I'll put extra fruit in and uh, pack other things in there. Of course, then, got some empty boxes. Very important, we brought a bunch of empty boxes to uh, pack uh, ripe fruit in. Because if you go to the farmer's market, 
you tr they try to give you like bags to put your fruit in, man. They all smush and then they're messed up. Don't want to do that. Don't want to be a rookie. <laughs> so I also brought these two boxes with me. And at the farmer's markets, we loaded this stuff up. Check it out. Oh, I don't want to like put this at too much of an angle. They're going to slide. Oops. <laughs> these are all really ripe for Simmons. Uh, we went to the uh, Torrance Farmer's Market and the Hollywood Farmer's Market and depending on what persimmons they were, because I got persimmons from many organic vendors, uh, some of these uh, guys, like these ones, were at the uh, Torrance Farmer's Market from a grower, organic grower in San Diego, four for a dollar ripe. Uh, some of these large ones were organic, uh, two dollars a pound. And then actually some of these smaller ones are from the Hollywood Farmer's Market, they're like five pieces for two fifty, but those ones were the best. And if you want to know which guy they were from, they're from the guy at the Hollywood Farmer's Market that sells the white sapotes often. Sometimes he has chamoya. Most of the time he has avocados. Sometimes he has guavas. And uh, yeah, that guy had the best persimmons we found so far uh, this trip. Yeah, we have lots of persimmons here. Once again, put in a box so they don't get mushed in a bag. And of course, I had to get more persimmons. It's persimmon season. I love them. Uh, these most of these guys in here are the chocolate persimmons, so when you bite into them, instead of being the orange color, they're like a brown, and they're quite good. Uh, these guys were uh, basically two dollars a pound, and I got some standard uh, fuyus in here. Also, they're a buck fifty a pound. Now I travel with this cooler right here. Uh, this one does not use ice; it's iceless ice. Man, that's a pain in the butt. Don't do it. <laughs> but this has a little plug on it. right here and you can plug it into your car so when we're traveling we know we put our juices and stuff that we bring with us we're gonna put our sugarcane juice on the way back um, we put all our perishable vegetables in here plugs into the cigarette lighter and then at this other end just plugs into the unit itself now the cool thing is once you get to the hotel you know you don't have to leave this in your car you can bring it in and then they have this guy and uh, this wall unit so this wall unit plugs in the wall one end and the other hand, end, you have a socket, you know, just like your cigarette lighter, you plug this end into. So now you could have an instant cooler or refrigerator in your hotel room if your hotel doesn't have one. Luckily, this hotel where we're staying at does have one, and I always try to stay at hotels that have refrigerators, uh, preferably like a suite style hotel that actually has a full size fridge and a full size kitchen. Anyways, we've got a lot of cool stuff in the cooler here. Let me go ahead and show you guys. First, we got an organic romaine. So especially when eating out at some of the different raw food restaurants this trip, we like to bring in some romaine. This is just a easy leaves or triple washed already. Um, really nice and delicate flavor. Got these at the 99 only store in town. One dollar for uh, seven ounces of organic leaves. Definitely a good deal. Oh, next, we ate at the uh, Wild Living Foods or whatever. And uh, it was the last video actually, if you've seen it, it's a review, amazing place. And I, we got a dessert to go. This is some kind of chocolate dessert they gave us on our way out. Definitely really cool. Uh, we'll probably eat that for dessert tonight. Then also from the Wild Living Foods, we didn't get to try their pizza since we were so full, like on the, on the uh, guacamole burger, the tuna burger, or the tuna sandwich. We got the, the pesto, and we got the uh, chili rellenos. The chili rellenos were the bomb. And so I'm expecting these pizzas that we got to go for tonight, they're gonna be the bomb too. And uh, I think last thing that we got inside here, stopped at Irwan, uh, definitely uh, probably the best uh, natural food store for raw foodists, like anywhere. They may be expensive, but you know what? They got like everything, <laughs> everything for raw foods. They got prepared raw foods, they got produce, which is maybe not super best, but they got all the packaged raw foods and uh, juices and raw desserts and everything you'd ever want. And this is, she got the uh, burrito wraps, raw burrito wraps, which is basically the uh, raw wraps on the outside with uh, basically a uh, nut pate and vegetables on the inside. We're gonna split this for uh, dinner tonight. It is 13 bucks. That's kind of what we're keeping cold in here for now. Uh, once we stop and get our sugarcane juice, all this stuff is gonna get repacked and our sugarcane juice has to go in the cooler. Uh, the sugarcane juice expires really quickly.
All right, so that's the stuff on the cart that I'm actually bringing back to the car that we already got. Now I want to show you guys the mother load of stuff that I'm going to actually unpack from the car so I can get this stuff in as well as the stuff in the car back in. So I thought I'd show you guys the trunk first. Now I didn't really pack things too hardcore in here since I was just kind of running around this morning buying a bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to pack it hardcore and like really tight like Tetris style, um, you know, once I get everything back out. But I want to show you guys what we got here. And so inside here, got lots of plant starts, right? Um, you know, I encourage you guys, especially as a raw foodist, you want to start growing some of your own food. Even if you have an apartment in New York City or you, don't, you can't garden outside because it's too cold, um, you know, you could grow sprouts and microgreens inside your house or, you know, move to a place where you can grow food outside year round. So right now in my garden, I have lettuce that I could harvest, I have Napa cabbage, I have bok choy, I have pak choy, different kinds of uh, kale and collard greens going. And I'm going to, you know, be planting some more stuff this trip. And uh, this was all sourced from CPG Nursery. Be sure to check my Growing Your Greens channel. I'll put a link down below to the video I did at CPG. If you live anywhere in Southern California or nearby, you want to go to CPG for your plant starts. They sell the best plant starts. They work really well. And then the most affordable price, when you buy them by the flat, you basically get wholesale prices direct to you. Uh, we got lots of sugar snap peas, one of my favorite uh, springtime uh, fruits, honorary fruits that are quite delicious. I can't wait till these uh, are harvestable. Next, we got a whole bunch of edible flowers. So I want to encourage you guys, you know, to eat your foods of color, whether they're fruits or vegetables or even flowers. Uh, they're amazing. These flowers are amazing. Uh, these are all violas, pansies, another common grown winter uh, flower. Also edible, as well as I got some nice ornamental kale that you normally see planted. You know, that looks nice, but. The ornamental kale is also edible. So I wanna encourage you guys to get like really rich, deeply colorful leaves. I think we got some uh, red uh, ornamental kale this trip. All right, next flag coming out. We got some uh, Lola Rosa lettuce. That's the red lettuce up on the top. The rest of this flat is all uh, celery. And the celery we got, we got peppermint stick celery and some heirloom golden celery to plant in the garden. You know, I, buy, I tend to buy a lot of celery because celery is kind of like a slow growing crop, but I'll tell you, the celery that I grow in my garden is like 10 times more flavorful than the stuff I buy at the store. I buy a lot of celery because I juice a lot of it and my garden is just not up to the, you know, a standard of producing a lot of celery since it does take a while to grow. All right, last flat in the trunk here, we got um, a bunch of cilantro, 24 uh, baby plants of cilantro in the jumbo six packs. I love how cilantro smells and I love how it tastes too. We also got some more lettuce. This one's a Sierra lettuce and a uh, lettuce flashy butter oak. Yeah, to plant in the garden. I always wanna encourage you guys to bring like a tarp or uh, you know, blanket like this because this covered all the food that's down below it because we got kind of like some uh, uh, compost and starting seed mix on there. But underneath here, we got some produce. Here, of course, I got my young coconuts. Uh, these are the young green coconuts. Imagine sitting on a beach, drinking one of these guys. These guys are huge. Uh, yeah, I mean, winter time, I'm still drinking my coconuts. They're $10 for five. So that's uh, like $2 each, definitely a good deal. Next, what I got is I got uh, two cases of cactus fruits. Now the cactus fruits, they'll easily last a month, especially now in the cold winter, uh, whether they're in the fridge, or probably even out of the fridge as long as we keep the house really cool. And uh, cactus fruits are one of my favorite fruits. Uh, these are really nice and fresh. They must have just came into the wholesale produce terminal. Uh, 40 pounds for uh, 14 bucks uh, today for the green ones. The green ones tend to be a little bit sweeter than the red ones, uh, so they taste better, but the red ones are more uh, phytonutrient packed. All right, of course, we got the red cactus fruits. Usually when juicing them, I like to juice them one to one. So if I'm juicing like five of these, I'll juice five of the other ones. So the other ones make them sweet. This packs the antioxidant punch, one of the most anti-inflammatory fruits. Plus it tastes really delicious and both me and my girlfriend love them. Now when picking cactus fruits, I wanna encourage you guys when you're picking red ones, if they should be red, they should be the deepest, darkest, reddest color you could find. And if you're picking out the green ones, they shouldn't actually be green. They should be kind of more light green or even yellowish. That means, they're a little bit riper and they'll be sweeter. These cactus fruits also 14 bucks for 40 pounds. Also in the trunk, what I travel with, we have to travel a lot of these uh, bags, right? These bags are excellent because they're nice and large. Um, and actually these are like a foil lined on the inside. 
and they'd have, they've said they've done testing on these and these will keep things cold for up to 24 hours or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, basically these were bought at like uh, Sam's Club and they're like I think maybe 12 to 13 dollars. Definitely a good investment. If you've got cold produce you can keep it in here. It's going to keep it colder longer than just having it out. Uh, inside here I just have some of this stuff that wouldn't fit in my backpack. Uh, some of my computer cords. <laughs> but I'm using some of these other guys like this one. Uh, this one also uh, found at uh, Sam's Club. And inside here, oh, I should have put these up this direction. Inside here, got one of the most valuable things I bought at the uh, produce terminal today. We got the organic blueberries. Oh, here's one more. So, uh, this case of organic blueberries, these are. Uh, 4.4 ounce packs, organic, from uh, Argentina. And uh, this whole case for 12 packs, eight bucks. Amazing deal uh, for organic blueberries. Now, some of these are a bit rough, so we're just gonna eat these pretty quick and uh, yeah, get some blueberries in it. So I wanna encourage you guys, especially on a, a you know fruit and vegetable dominated diet, eat a lot of foods of color. Like the berries are excellent. All right, next food we got at the produce terminal. Got a case of really nice Adolfo um, or Champagne mangoes. Uh, these mangoes are really nice. I think this is a 16 count in the case. It was six bucks. And uh, how I'll be using these, I'll probably be making uh, one of my favorite dressings. I'll be uh, blending some of the mango up with some of the pepper, red pepper that I grew and a hot pepper I grew uh, in the blender for ni a nice uh, sweet and spicy salad dressing to put over lettuce. All right, last couple things we got. Once again, we got a lot of these bags, so a lot of this produce that uh, is loose or whatever, we may put in these bags. They're uh, insulated. I really like these bags a lot. I just take these to the farmer's market and shop. They're nice and big, too. That one was from Costco. The ones at Costco are a little bit bigger than the ones from Sam's, and I, I kind of like, I like them a little bit better, but uh, the ones from Sam's have that boil on the inside that might think, keep things a bit colder. So I've been testing them like side by side to see which one of those guys are really better. So, uh, I don't know, get one of each one. <laughs> All right, next in here, we got a bag of persimmons. They weren't fitting in a box, but now I've empty box them. So now I'm gonna put these uh, persimmons in a bag, in a box. Uh, these ones are also the, um, the chocolate persimmons, so they're brown on the inside, and uh, they're my favorite. They're also fairly rare, so I, I really bought a lot of them. I almost bought the lady out of all the ones she had. All right, last thing in the trunk here, we got these. These are avocados. They should not re re uh, remain in a bag. None of your produce should always remain in a plastic bag. You should get them into a paper bag or like uh, those flats as soon as possible. I think these are called the uh, Wester Hall avocados and these have a thin skin. So these have like an edible skin that you could eat. They kind of taste maybe a little bit anisey or pretty much neutral flavor. So that's why I got these because it's really rare to find uh, avocados with edible skin style. I love them a lot. These are only 75 cents each. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it for the trunk. I'm glad I got the trunk empty. All this stuff spread out all over the parking lot here. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take everything out from the main compartment of the car. All right, now let's go ahead and take out everything from the front part of the car, and then I'm gonna put the seats down to kind of like uh, be able to fit some more stuff in there. All right, let's see what we got here. More produce. I love my plants and I love my produce. They're what feed me, man, and they're what, they should, they're what should feed everybody on the planet. All right, next. Of course, got more plant starts, couldn't fit them all in the trunk. Instead of the sugar snap peas here, we got the uh, basically uh, snow peas and some more sugar snap peas, more Lola Rosa lettuce and some other kind of lettuce, Cracko Viennese, I don't know, and then some red vein sorrel, more stuff for my garden. You know, I really wanna encourage you guys, grow your food, man. Learn how to do it at growingyourgreens.com. It's literally the raw food end game. If you grew all the food you needed, you wouldn't have to go to the produce terminal. And that's the one day I look forward to. I will have a farm, organic farm, grow 99% of all the food I eat on my farm. And uh, it's just fun like learning how to do that because I'm in a continual learning mode and I'm really good at what I do now. And I know I even, could even get better. And I'm glad I could support, you know, uh, buying most organic produce from local farmers as well as the produce terminal, right? Because voting with your dollars is probably one of the most important things you could do in this day and age because that lets companies know what you want. 
if you continue to buy McDonald's, that lets McDonald's know that, hey, we're providing a valuable service and we need to expand and make more. If that's not what you want, then don't shop McDonald's. Buy organic produce, even better yet, buy your own food and empower yourself to grow your own food. Coming out next, we got an empty box. Yeah, I got an empty box. I could like uh, put my plants on top of my produce without it, my, my produce getting all dirty. All right, next we got a box of some of my favorite cucumbers. This is from Baja Organics, 22 pounds of uh, greenhouse grown baby cucumbers. They're amazingly delicious. I love them a lot. I'll probably pickle some, we juice a lot of them. There's, they don't have a bitter skin, so we just love to eat these. You know, dip them in sauces, cut them up and add them to salads, cut them up and add them in soups for a nice crunch. Now this box of 22 pounds, $14 at the terminal this morning. Coming out next, more organic produce. If we could get it out. Yeah, baby, got some more organic mangoes. So I found these organic mangoes actually after I got the non-organic mangoes. Uh, you know, I will eat non-organic mangoes if I can't find organic ones. I bought those first, but then I saw these. They were 50 cents more. This was 650. This is also 16 count. These ones quite aren't as ripe or colored up. So I'm gonna eat the other ones first, let these guys ripen a little bit more, and then I'll be enjoying these mangoes. Yeah, super good deal, 650 for 16. Next coming out, got organic pineapples. You guys know how much organic pineapples may cost near you. I mean, I seen them earlier, just a couple months ago at Trader Joe's Organic, $2.99 each, amazing. But normally they're $3.99 on sale, $4.99 even more sometimes per pineapple. Uh, this whole case and they're kind of on their way out they're like number two grade uh have to cut off the skin they'll be like a little bit browner than the skin but in the core they'll still be good and uh, this was a case of six for six bucks that's a dollar each on organic pineapple especially this time of year i love to juice the pineapples with my greens from the garden to make a nice delicious uh green fruit juice all right next fruit coming out right here oh case a case of uh Persimmons here. This is a uh, 37 pounds of the Fuyu persimmons. We'll open this up for you guys. So you guys can see it in there Check these babies out man Ripe persimmons These guys are a little bit soft. So we're gonna eat all the other ones first The, the softest ones first then go on to these guys uh, These are just Fuyu's and I want you guys to look at the bottom I don't know if you guys could see that on the HD camera, but you see how it starts to look cracked on the bottom it kind of looks like a jigsaw puzzle crack style and uh, that's when it really starts to get sweet and the sugars start to come out so yeah these guys are pretty soft 37 pounds i could do curls with them um 12 bucks amazing deal these ones all have to go in the fridge as soon as we get back home uh, and they'll last easily should last easily like uh, several weeks in the fridge without problem all right next thing coming out here it is nice and long baby <laughs> we got uh, two bundles of sugar cane, 10 uh, pieces per bundle. Each bundle was 14 bucks. I'll be juicing that at home with my sugar cane juicer. Best way to do it is to juice it yourself, but if you can't do it and you don't have your own juicer to juice your sugar cane, then you want to go down to uh, Dr. Jolly's sugar cane juicer. If I remember, I'll put a link down below so you all that live in the LA area or are visiting could uh, get your own sugar cane juice without having to buy it, clean it, and then juice it yourself. Definitely get a workout moving all my produce around. All right, you guys never can't have too many cooler bags. So Lauren brought her little small uh, cooler bag here, insulated. I mean, I don't particularly care for this too much, but you know what? It works. And it's always better to be over-prepared than under-prepared, especially when you're traveling by car. That thing is light. It smushes down. You could put your fruits in there so they stay cold, don't get mushed. One of the things I like to do to keep a cooler bag cold is uh, inside a hotel, I'll like put like um, the bottled water in the fridge, take out the bottled water, put it in the cooler with my fruits so that it stays a little bit cooler in that cooler. <laughs> All right, next thing coming out. As much as I love my fruits and vegetables and you guys saw up to now, that's pretty much what I bought. I also love to get some raw food snacks sometimes. So one of my favorite stores for getting the cheapest price on raw food snacks is here in town now. They took over the uh, places where Fresh and Easy used to be, and we got a bunch of kale chips. So this uh, Rhythm kale chips, you guys know how much this stuff costs at your local store, depending on where you buy it, $6.99, $5.99, maybe $4.99. Maybe if you're lucky and you see them on sale like it was earlier this year, you might see them for $2.99. But uh, I got these at the place called The Grocery Outlet, which regularly sells kale chips. They had Brad's kale chips, they had 
uh, the Blessings kale chips and they had the Rhythm kale chips. These were the cheapest at $1.99. Uh, so I bought a bunch and the other ones were uh, $2.99. So I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna say I don't eat kale chips, I like to make them myself, but these are a uh, you know, quick, easy, and convenient uh, snack when traveling. So we have them in a Health Force Superfoods bag. Coming out next, I want you guys always to stay hydrated. So we travel with you know a big uh, gallon sized bottle of water. We can refill this at like a Whole Foods or whatever. And uh, this is the water from my house. We have an RO system. So we could always have some purified water to get hydrated. That being said, I encourage you guys to get hydrated by your foods first. Fruits and vegetables, a lot of water content. And then if you need to also, of course, drink some water. All right, talking about hydration. <laughs> While Lauren likes to drink her um, water out of a bottle, I prefer to drink my water more naturally. And so what I got here is uh, we got a case of the coconuts. And uh, these coconuts are the white coconuts. They're on the mature side, so you kind of could see the brown or the skin. Uh, these ones I could drink the water out of, and I could also use them for their delicious meat. So lately we've been making actually things like the coconut milk and uh, coconut cream with these style coconuts. Then I'll add that and put the mixture into the ice cream maker, blend it, also add some dates, of course, and vanilla. Maybe I'll have a video on that soon, and we'll make our own raw vegan ice cream out of real ingredients. It's delicious. Uh, this case here of coconuts was uh, $18 for 20 pieces. All right, coming out next, we got a bag of organic oranges. Can be hard to get good organic oranges. This is the Stelhe Farms. I always get these at the farmer's market. A 25 pound bag, organic Valencia's this time of year was uh, 13 bucks. So that's around uh, 50 cent a pound, amazing deal. Uh, they're cheaper and better at the farmer's market than even the produce terminal I found. All right, last couple cases coming out. I got three more cases to show you guys. Here we got um, basically single layer high chia persimmons. I don't know how many that is, but these high chias are ripe and ready to eat. We're gonna eat the ones from the farmer's market first, uh, and then we're gonna eat these guys. Uh, these guys for this whole case, five bucks. So you're definitely gonna get better deals at the wholesale produce terminal. That being said, you're probably gonna get better quality at your local farmer's markets. Of course, that depends on the farmer. You know, some of the ripe stuff that we got this trip didn't like really like light us up and make us go, oh. <laughs> Hopefully these guys will be good, but nonetheless, it's just really hard to find uh, ripe Hychia persimmon sometimes, and it's my girlfriend's favorite. So I just definitely want to keep her happy. Next, of course, got an empty box. Empty boxes, do not underestimate the power of the empty box. I really like this style box. You could get them at a, your local warehouse club store for free, Sam's Club, Costco, even BJ's. Uh, they have a lot of the you know produce come in these boxes and they got these tabs so, so these are interlocking tabs and they stack one on top of each other this is excellent for uh, storing fruit in your home even i use these guys in my fridges to kind of have trays of fruit if they like get exploded fruit on them you know i'll just then at that point uh, just uh, recycle them and uh, meanwhile i'm able to transport my fruit without them getting all mushed so yeah always have some of these available and on hand you never know when you're going to need them all right, we're down to the last two cases of fruit. I got the produce terminal today, and I'm kind of glad. Next, I got another case of organic pineapple. Uh, this is a different kind. This is the Good Life Organic Pineapple uh, from Costa Rica. This was six pieces for 10 bucks. Once again, I found these guys first, and then I found the other organic pineapples that I got. Um, you know, once again, I like to use these mainly for juicing. I find if I eat pineapples like raw, I just cut them up and eat them. Burns the heck out of my mouth. I do have an episode on that, on why pineapples burn your mouth. And when I uh, refrigerate these pineapples and then I take them out and I juice them, especially with greens, I don't get that burning sensation in my mouth. That being said, both the pineapples and the oranges and the citrus fruits, except for like maybe uh, sweet limes that I didn't get this morning, do a number on your teeth, right? They have the acids in there, they'll break down some of the enamel on your teeth. And so you gotta be careful with that if you're into raw foods. I mean, even if you guys are young now, you guys, oh yeah, I got teeth, man, nothing ever bothers me you want to wash that acid off as soon as possible, right? Don't brush your teeth after you eat, but at least rinse with water, even better yet, rinse with water and baking soda to neutralize that acid so that it doesn't like, uh, you know, burn your enamel off and you're not paying for it later. Trust me, I know this. All right, down the last case. 
I can start repacking the stuff in the car now. All right, we got one case, nine count organic cantaloupes. Uh, this one whole case was at 10 bucks, an amazing deal, like about a little bit more than a dollar each per organic cantaloupe. These ones are kind of like uh, a little bit rough, so we'll turn these into cantaloupe juice and drink these because um, cantaloupes are pretty much going to be out of season now. And you know, we're going into like uh, December in just a few days. And so, you know, I really like to have a wide variety of fruits, and I'm glad that I live here uh, where I could go to the Southern California farmers markets and produce terminals so I could get a wide variety of stuff. Depending on where you live in the world and the country, you know, you might have apples and bananas and oranges in the winter. And I personally think that kind of sucks, right? Maybe bananas too. I don't know if I'd, I'd like to do that. You know, I'm glad that I have so many different things that I could create so many different creations with. And you know, uh, we keep our fridges full at home. And those are my top tips for you guys. You always want to have like abundant produce available. And yes, will, will I eat every iota of this food between me and my girlfriend? You know, we're going to eat like 95% of it. Some of it might go bad. We're going to have to cut off some parts of the bad pineapple and you know, maybe a persimmon might kind of get over fermenty because they're overripe. That's all right. It feeds my compost, which then feeds my plants to grow more food for me. And that's just part of the game, right? And since we're buying it at wholesale prices, even below wholesale prices in some of these cases, um, you know, we can afford to do it. And I just like that fun. I mean, to me, going out five hours this morning to go to the wholesale produce terminal, buy my plant starts, looking around and walking around the produce terminal like twice to make sure I found all the good deals. This is fun and enjoyment for me. It's also good exercise. And also, you know, like all the guys, like they want to like wheel your, your uh, produce over. I'm like, no, man, I'm carrying it. And I carry this stuff. Walk it to my car. Gives me some really good exercise instead of going to the gym, which is an artificial environment. So yeah, oh, I got one more thing to show you guys real quick. And then I'm about to sign off and uh, load this stuff back in the car. Then we're gonna head back home. So last thing I want to show you guys today is this is simply this. I got a four pack of uh, plants. So I got wild arugula, which is different than the standard arugula that actually I didn't get at the uh, plant nursery today. They don't actually sell this. And I also got some uh, pennyroyal. I think that's another herb they don't sell. So, you know, I don't just like shop at like the wholesale places. I shop wherever I can to get unique varieties of foods to either grow or to eat myself. And this is what I simply share uh, with you guys and hope that you guys do this too. You know, don't just go to your one grocery store that you always go to, you know, try some different ones. You may be surprised even in your local area, different grocery stores, different health food stores, they may carry a little bit different varieties of stuff. They also may be cheaper than the other place. So I really like to just shop around and you know, my girlfriend doesn't really like to do this. So I'm glad I do and I could save us a bunch of money. Also, this is one of those lettuce containers, you know, so I'm reusing it to hold my plants. And you know, I really love containing your plants. I could also use these containers to hold ripe fruit. So, you know, save some of these sometimes, you know, if you get them, they're always handy. So I always wanna encourage you guys to, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's always better to reuse than recycle. And uh, I like to try to reuse as, as much as we possibly can and be as sustainable as I can. All right, so as you guys can see, you got the whole car packed up and basically it took me a little bit over an hour to well, make the video, unpack the car, and then repack it since uh, Lauren came down uh, about one. I left the room at about noon. So, I mean, definitely take some time. It's definitely a workout, moving all the stuff around and then fit it in. And this is what I call fun, believe it or not, right? You gotta do something with your life, whether you wanna sit there and play video games or read books or um, go running, whatever you wanna do. I love kinda doing this stuff, you know? Like, it gives my mind a challenge and to stay young, definitely gotta always keep your mind challenged. And it's like, how can I use my mind to ensure that everything fits and no produce gets damaged? And more importantly, none of my plants get damaged either. So actually, I wanna go ahead and uh, pick up the camera. I'll show you guys how I packed the car up just for fun. And then we'll come back at you and uh, close out this video with some final tips. All right, first, go into the trunk here. Got things carefully packed. I got four flats of uh, the plants in the trunk so that you know they're not like hitting the top. I got them on top of a blanket, underneath the blanket. We'll pull that up. As you guys can see, I got the cactus fruit down there. Over here, we got those uh, cucumbers. On one side, we got like my backpack. <laughs> and on this side, under the blanket, uh, we got uh, Lauren's backpack. We got the glass jug of water over there and yeah four flats of plants and basically all underneath all the produce 
So yep, trunk's packed up. Let's go ahead and close the lid there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys inside. So we got the seats down, definitely fit more. I personally like hatchbacks. Lauren had this car, so that's what we got. Otherwise, I'd have a hatchback. Holds more stuff. Behind the driver's seat, you know, got the uh, uh, cantaloupes packed down there. And then on top, we got the cooler bags full of some stuff. And then we got the uh, plug-in cooler right here. Easy access. We want to get in there and uh, get some food or some drink. And we're going to put the sugarcane juice in there in a minute after we stop and get it filled up. We got the, my uh, roller bag with the juicer and blender right there. And I set it up so we have a nice flat area on top. So if I need to put plants or something else, or we need to look out the rear view window, that's kind of how I set it up. So we can still have a access out the rear view window so we could drive safely. Of course, if I had to, you know, my next step would be to fill that up also. Let's go ahead and remove around the back here. And over on this side, open the door. The door barely shuts. <laughs> over on this side, you know, we got the uh, two cases of uh, pineapples. And then up over here, we got, uh, you know, the persimmons in the box underneath there. These are all the ripies. And then we got my plants up top that I took out of the flat to put in here. Hold the six pack nicely. Over on this side, we got uh, the chocolate persimmons up on top. A couple avocados that's uh, interlocked with this box down below, which is uh, all these beautiful chocolate persimmons. And oh, and then this is the cooler bag that actually had the uh, blueberries because they're kind of stuffed in there. And then below them, we got the 37-pound uh, uh, box of uh, large Fuyus. Oh, and then uh, don't forget, like, un behind the chair, the, pa the passenger chair, we got the bag of the kale chips right in there. And then below that, uh, we got just the uh, extra bags we're going to recycle. We got the 25-pound bag of oranges as well as another uh, cooler bag that just kind of folded up in there. So, yeah, I'm trying to make uh, use of every available spot in the car to uh, pack it and then try to leave us the most room in the front here. In the front, that sugar cane was nice and long. That's why I put the seats down. So we have that all the way going from uh, here all the way back uh, into the trunk. And then, uh, so you guys can see, this is kind of what we're driving with. Uh, in the, we can still hit the shifter and everything. And uh, Lauren's got her bottled water. And then, uh, let's see, we got another case of the uh, cactus fruits right there. And then a few of my plants on top. Don't want to put anything on top of here because they'll crush, but I want, I'd like to have like a box to put on top but I didn't I didn't have one I guess I could cut down one of the other spare boxes I had but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it so that's pretty much the end of this episode what did you guys think man you think I'm crazy hey if you think I'm crazy give me a thumbs up man let me know have you ever have you guys ever packed your car this full of fruits and vegetables or am I the only one like that does this I'm probably pretty crazy huh maybe you go to the terminal you pack your stuff up with some fruits and vegetables but not the plants and I've tried to do this you know as as uh, quickly and efficiently as I possibly can. And actually, to me, good fun, man. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, ate delicious fruit, organic fruit, ripe persimmons for breakfast today. Went to the produce terminal, got my plant starts, came back, made a video, packed the car up. Now we're gonna get sugarcane juice, man. Let me tell you, this is the life. And you know what, all this, all this stuff, very inexpensive. Anybody could do this stuff. You know, you don't have to be a millionaire, a billionaire, whatever to be going the produce terminal. As you guys saw, the prices in this episode were insane. Of course, the produce terminal, definitely cheaper than going to the farmer's markets. But once again, farmer's market is gonna have higher quality fruit sometimes, not always. And I encourage you guys at the farmer's markets to test the fruit before you buy it. Some farmers, you know, were sampling out persimmons and things that really sucked. Like me and Lauren would go around and we're like, you know, I'm getting her kind of like, uh, like to be a fruit snob like I am. Slowly but surely, it's taking a while. And she knows what a good persimmon tastes like. And she's like, I'm like, what do you think of persimmon? She's like, no. And I'm like, well, what? And then we have another one. She's like, what do you think of that one? She's like, well, that's a little bit better than the last one. I'm like, yeah, that's, yep, I would agree. And then we had some others like, wow, that's like really good. And we don't agree on everything. I mean, I like the chocolates. She thought they were astringent. I have not got any stringent chocolates. By far, you know, the chocolate persimmons are not quite as sweet as like a really ripe high chia like that we also got and I share with you guys the ripest ones this trip that we got but I really love the flavor more and also they're deep and dark and rich and uh, yeah they're a really unique flavor and uh, they're dark inside so more antioxidants you know I guess pretty much to close you guys can eat raw and travel wherever you go you don't need to go to raw food restaurants like we have been every every last couple nights here um, you know, we could just eat the produce we buy. We buy, we bring a blender, a cutting board, salad bowls, juicer. We could go to shopping at the 
99 only store to get organic greens like I got or just a grocery store or a health food store. Even if you don't have none of these available, you got a grocery store wherever you travel. If you got a rental car, you know, bring some uh, tools with you so you could cut up produce in your um, hotel room and eat it. You know, I've done that so many times. You don't need to go out to a restaurant to eat when you travel. You just need to be prepared and have the mindset that you can do it. In a video like this, hopefully it helps you guys out to show you guys what I'd go through to make all this happen because it all comes down to this. What I eat is one of the most important things to me in the world, right? My health is number one. You know, my health is influenced by what I eat and you are what you eat. If you're putting in junk food, right? That's, you know, you're maybe not gonna be as healthy as, as if you ate, you know, some of the best food that you could get your hands on. And that's simply what I'm just trying to do and I just share that with you guys and hopefully motivate you guys to do that also. Because, you know, overall, changing your diet, eating more fruits and vegetables, it's all a mindset. And it's basically getting into the habit of doing a better thing than you were doing. And that's all it is. And I'm still trying to improve, you know, my, I'm, one day I'm gonna grow my fruits. So I don't have to go to the produce terminal. Cause yeah, waking up at 5 a.m. to go to the produce terminal. I mean, I, I do like to get my sleep. I went to bed a little bit early last night, but you know, I'm probably a little bit shy on sleep, especially making these videos and all this kind of stuff. But that's what I do and I love it. And I'm just having fun. I'm just sharing that with you guys. So yeah, you guys could do it too. In any case, if you like this video, think I'm crazy, <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you want more videos like this with my plant produce hauls and how I travel. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any new and upcoming episodes I have coming out about every five to seven days on this YouTube channel. You never know what I'll be learning, what I'll be sharing with you guys. And be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 450 episodes on this YouTube channel sharing with you guys other produce and plant hauls and how I prepare food and interviewing many of my different friends and things that have been doing raw foods for a long time to really kind of like educate you guys on maybe a better way to eat a raw food diet based around fruits and vegetables so that you can be successful. And that's just what I want overall. I want everybody in the world to be successful at eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, however many you believe you should be eating. And I think you should be eating as many as you possibly can. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. Hey, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. I'm here all the way in Katy, Texas. It's outside Houston, if you don't know where Katy's at. And uh, the reason why I'm here today is because I'm gonna do a raw food recipe.